This resource has the capabilities to conduct in vitro fertilization, sperm and embryo cryopreservation, and any other services that require manipulating early mouse embryos. You can also count on it to take care of ES cell gene targeting and expansion. The folks at the Mouse Genetics Lab can even provide you with free ES cells, drug-resistant mouse embryo fibroblasts, and plasmid vectors. If you need advice, you can take advantage of the free consultation services offered by the lab, learn about mouse husbandry and strain maintenance, the design of ES cell gene targeting experiments, and the use of mouse models for cancer-related research. The problem that we are dealing with actually involved making new mouse models and unique mouse models and that in, involved uh, genetic manipulation of mouse embryonic stem cells which we could do in our lab but the next step that involved making those embryonic stem cells into a whole organism that, that involved a particular uh, technique called blast assist injection and that was the uh, MGL's uniqueness. It is a it was a service that was provided by the MGL, and that is something that was a key part of our research. research. Dr. Bagchi came to the mouse genetics lab because he wanted to investigate low-level gene amplification's role in cancer in general, and so he had a desire to create mice that had multiple copies, increased numbers of copies of certain genes in the genome and so we consulted with him on how to create embryonic stem cells that had the genetic alteration he was interested in and then the mouse genetics lab took those embryonic stem cells, micro-injected them into early mouse embryos and we created mice that had the genetic alteration he was interested in. He used these mice in studies that he published in Nature last year showing that increased copy numbers of certain genes in the region he was studying increased the risk for cancer and this study was really exciting and interesting because it showed for the first time that even a subtle change in gene copy number can predispose to cancer and play a role in early stages of breast cancer of breast cancer development the central question we we asked here is to uh, investigate the cooperation between an oncogene called MIC, a very well-known oncogene, and a non-coding RNA just adjacent to MIC. And to end address it completely, we needed to make three mouse models. And uh, these three mice models were imperative to address this question to the full extent. So that's what uh, MGL did. They made the mouse for us and that was a unique value that added to the study and after we uh, uh, that those mouse models led us to the subsequent studies in the humans where we nailed the the cooperation uh, completely so without the service of the mgl it would have been difficult for us to even move the study from the preliminary stage to the complete phase